You're watching the Intel Network and Edge V Summit series with our focus today on the visual cloud. How can service providers leverage the Edge to develop real-time services built on flexible and modular elements that can lower total cost of ownership as well as solve deployment challenges? Well, joining me now to explain how Celnex is doing just this is Jose Antonio Aranda, who is Innovation and Product Strategy Director at Celnex, and Ses Guim, who is Principal Engineer at Intel. Gentlemen, welcome. Thank you both very much for joining us. Thank you very much. to be here. Jose, before we get into the details of these next generation visual cloud experiences, can you provide a little background to Celnex? Of course. So Celnex is uh, the European leading operator of wireless telecommunication infrastructure. So we have presence in eight countries. We were born in Spain, but little by little, we grew into different countries, Italy, France, Switzerland, by making agreements with the mobile operators, we grew up to uh, Netherlands, uh, the UK, Ireland, and recently to Portugal. Also, um, uh, we have uh, different uh, assets. Traditionally, we come from the broadcasting world. And in that, in that sense, uh, what we have is high towers across different countries. And that has enabled us to convey the TV signal to the countries. Uh, additionally, in the last few years, we have been uh, partnering with the mobile operators uh, to also uh, provide telecom infrastructure. Uh, we uh, started by pure rental model where we have uh, bought lands and offer uh, the possibility of operators to use that land. But we, we little by little, we have been offering additional services like decommissioning. So if two mobile operators had a specific uh, two towers in the same location, we close one tower and uh, the, the mobile operators can share that tower. And same model applies to new sites. Uh, we have different models of build to suit where uh, one mobile operator willing to build a site uh, uh, built with the idea of having a spare space. So uh, they can be used by other mobile operators. And uh, the sooner they have uh, more mobile operators, uh, the, the sooner they, they start receiving additional savings. And the last, the last aspect on uh, telecom infrastructure that we are working on is on neutral host and the idea of uh, being able to offer infrastructure that can be shared by all the mobile operators in the country. Uh, also, we have traditional services like Tetra services that we offer to security forces like um, police, like uh, firefighters or ambulances. Uh, also, we have been working uh, to provide connectivity and uh, because we see that uh, the uh, 5G will need our antennas to be connected. That's why we are investing in fiber and uh, to have that connectivity. Also, as part of the mobile connectivity, we are enabling new sites with coverage with different and uh, small cells along the place, for instance, a stadiums or for instance, um, port where we are installing the, uh, the network that is shared by the mobile operators in this area. And the last thing is uh, a smart and IoT services. We are working with uh, the mobile operators partners uh, to enable use cases of IoT uh, using different technologies. Uh, also, I would like to highlight that uh, we have a strategic partnership with Intel and Lenovo uh, that has enabled us uh, to have access to the Intel reference architecture uh, to use for our edge computing solution. So that's a great overview of the company's business and activities, but what would you say are the main industry challenges that Celnex is working to solve? Of course. So basically, we are working in three areas. One is the acceleration of the deployment of all these visual cloud experience uh, on 5G using its technology, because we see that its concept has been in the market, but uh, the deployment has been a little bit slow and we are pushing to uh, be pioneer and deploy a solution that can be already implemented in the market. Second, enabling with this uh, technology, uh, lowering the cost 
for the mobile operators of the services that they can offer to third party. Third it is our approach is always a solution uh, as in, in our uh, routes to share and, and host infrastructure that can be uh, shared by the mobile operators. And that enables us to uh, uh, start working on enhancing the parameters that 5G will offer, like a high broadband, like high, a lower latency, and a huge amount of devices connected. And with this, we want to solve uh, some important challenges, and we, we see that we can provide solutions uh, to these. So for instance, uh, uh, there are multiple uh, mobile operators that may require uh, hardware solutions, different hardware solutions. So we are eager to work on the neutral host concept that can facilitate the mobile operators and can uh, alleviate uh, the complexity of having that sort of solution. Also, uh, the solution that we offer uh, is very flexible. And that's basically because we offer a modular approach where uh, you can uh, uh, pick, uh, pick and choose different solutions. Uh, also, uh, our design is can be customized. So if you need a specific uh, node, edge node in uh, different locations, we are flexible enough to introduce uh, those uh, more nearer to the antennas or a, a little bit further. And that will bring, uh, finally, uh, our services, the capability of bringing all the network uh, capacity and all, all the, the processing power closer to the user. Now, you mentioned earlier that you have a partnership with Intel. So can you tell us more about how you're working with Intel, on the, especially on the development and the deployment of your edge computing product? So uh, we are very happy with uh, this strategic uh, partnership with Intel that has enabled to uh, leverage the Intel's technology uh, that are very flexible and uh, to provide end-to-end -end solutions, uh, but also uh, that Lenovo has also helped to make it real and introduce in the hardware. That has helped us uh, to move from a model that we uh, currently have of potential data centers, that is a business that we have, for instance, in the Netherlands, uh, where because we have these high towers, we have been able to uh, slice the tower and offering in the towers uh, floors with data center capacity. So moving from providing purely a condition and space, uh, thanks to Intel and Lenovo, we are able to provide hardware and now provide servers, and now provide capacity and provide additional services uh, infrastructure. Uh, also, we have another partner uh, and together with the cloud service from uh, Lenovo and uh, nearby orchestration, we are able to also move a little bit up whenever the mobile operators may require an infrastructure layer using Telco Cloud. And the last important uh, thing and why we value also uh, uh, Intel support is because uh, we can use Intel hardware uh, with different range of variety of uh, uh, chipsets that enable us to offer different edge computing uh, capabilities uh, from uh, small edge uh, in a, a far edge closer to the antenna or big edge capabilities in a more metropolitan office. Uh, edge, what do you think? No, I think I think that honestly the, the work that we've been doing together has been great and from Intel standpoint it's it's a journey, right? Uh, uh, edge is a very very complex area, it's end-to-end -end, so partnering with you it's been a, 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 a joint journey that has allowed us to basically but validate some of the hypotheses that we have in our architecture, validate how our ingredients can be mapped in your uh, end, end to end architectures. And I think that one of the important aspects for us is that uh, the scale that you are trying to address and, and, and as well that you are combining different verticals, different networks and different services within the same architecture, it's an interesting uh, challenge, but an, an opportunity as well to define a a very advanced architecture, right? And, and as you pointed out, elements such as the modularity, acceleration, different types of compute, and different software stacks and frameworks, it's, it's very relevant. And for us, really validating some of those aspects with you 
it's been important for val validating what we have today and improve our uh, architecture, reference architectures, but as well understanding how we shape coming technologies that may come in the, in, uh, in the next generations of Intel products. Thank you, Sesc. Indeed, collaboration is so very, very important in our industry. Um, Jose, I'd love to know a little bit more about your edge computing product and really how that helps your mobile operator customers. Yes. Um, so um, we have bet to move from uh, being just a tower company to be an infrastructure company and partner with the mobile operators, not just to provide the radio access network, but also provide the other assets in the value chain. And with these, we have partnered with a Buick Telecom, for instance, in France, uh, where additionally to the radio access network, uh, we are able to operate as well their data centers and their metropolitan offices. So these metropolitan offices is where we will start to implement uh, edge computing and, and as uh, we move towards uh, the more capillarity, we will start doing more in shelters closer to the antenna. So uh, the, the benefits that we see of our solution is we have the experience and we have the capillarity to provide uh, support to, in the evolution of the network uh, to when they implement edge computing. Also, we think that it's also very important that our solution is uh, sensitive to the price and our ambition is to lower the TCO from the mobile operators when they deploy edge computing. Uh, and at the same time, as I mentioned before, for us it's very important that uh, edge computing is seen as an infrastructure that can be shared between the mobile operators. So we see that we could potentially consolidate the different infrastructure from the mobile operators, not only in antennas, but also in data centers or edge computing uh, to uh, enable additional say, services. Uh, another aspect uh, that we consider important uh, from uh, this uh, partnership with uh, Intel is that we will provide all the engineering. So we, we, uh, we have a design tool to support uh, the requirements of the mobile operators uh, in terms of throughput or latency uh, in a very stage will be probably the broadband. Uh, uh, and depending on the needs, uh, we will suggest a ideal uh, configuration of nodes uh, that the mobile operator will request. Um, there are other things like uh, we, uh, we want to help to be fast in time to market, allowing the mobile operators deploying these services now. Uh, because we see that now is the, the perfect time uh, to do so, using always uh, open architecture, a, a, a system that, as I, I explained, is modular, but also enables the possibility to integrate additional technologies without a, a, a lot of problems. And the last thing is uh, we would like uh, to keep on supporting the mobile operators, not only in the infrastructure, we have partnered with a, a company called Nearby. Uh, that is a startup that we have a, a, an, an important relationship with that will help us as well on the orchestration layer that will help us also uh, providing a, a, a layer to minimize the, a, a flexi the, the complexity of the cloud world and the deployment of uh, new services. So, Jose, what are some of the key technologies from Intel that you're using at Cellnex? Of course. Uh, so, uh, we are grateful that Intel has uh, enabled us to test uh, the latest technology, and it, that includes a range of Intel processors from Atom to Xeon XP uh, to provide us flexibility, and we are able to offer different levels of uh, edge computing services depending on the different requirements, the processor uh, workload. Also, uh, uh, we are using hardware accelerators, including Movidius VPU accelerators that are used for video artificial intelligence. And that provides us uh, the possibility to lower the cost and increasing the density of video streams per system. Uh, at the same time, we are using Lenovo and nearby uh, open cloud for orchestration, uh, and that enables us to support 
the management of the cloud, the Telco Edge, and on-premises solutions. And the last thing that we use is the OpenVINO toolkit that enables us to introduce deep learning interference support, enabling us uh, to uh, uh, provide services with ISPs and ISVs uh, to develop any Intel hardware. And if you look at what we've been doing with uh, uh, Thelnet, as, as Jose Tony was alluding at the beginning of the, of the talk, is we've been looking at the end-to-end -end from the edges that are more close to the device down to the data center, right? So in this context, we have been looking at more compute capabilities that go from uh, Atom SOCs or client type of CPUs that may go in this uh, Lenovo IoT gateways that are more placed uh, maybe on a pole, uh, maybe on a, on a small on-premise deployment. And we've been looking as well at, at the next years, right? So looking at how to utilize Xeon D, for instance, in street cabinets or base station uh, using Lenovo technology as well, and how you go into the next level uh, of, uh, of, the, of the compute where you may have more Xeon SPs type of, 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 of CPUs that basically have high throughput and, and they can be uh, hosted in, in locations where the, the thermals and, and power are not as restrictive as, as in the other locations. How does a partnership with Intel help you strategically? Yes, uh, strategically, Intel has uh, provided access to the latest technology in the market, and we are grateful for this. But as well, uh, they are, have enabled uh, the ecosystem and facilitated uh, the, the, all the uh, ISPs, ISVs that they have. So they are at our disposal to develop in our X solution. Great. Well, Sesc and Jose, it sounds like a, a great partnership. Thank you both very much for joining us today. And don't forget, you can watch more interviews and discussions on the Visual Cloud right here as part of the Intel Network and Edge V Summit series. But for now, thank you for watching and goodbye.